What's it going to be? Who wants to start this one? Oh, nobody started yet. Oh, oh I have God. to. I'm I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't get a chance to watch this one. It looked really fucking interesting. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, man. It's You're really lucky. Uh, do yourself a favor and watch it later because it's like one of the Also, the animation things. looks rad and it, I've yeah, never uh, heard Jared, of this story. Jared, if you... If you if you don't want to pay for it, I got you. Just yeah. send me a message. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, if you could almost, put, could, could, can you put it worried. in the Dropbox, and so I can just. Oh yeah, there's a link. Uh, it's, it's, on my, it's on my pro, it's on my Proton drive. I can just send you the, the link. The link. Yeah. I, so, oh, yeah, but, worried, I'm sorry. I'll just, hear, I'll just listen to you guys talk. Watch it later. You're gonna hit just it. That's just it, Jared. I'm almost worried that this is gonna be kind of a spoiler for you because the movie takes a big turn. About well, two thirds of the way, it in. takes two big turns. Well, then again, there's a question about documentaries. It's all right. I'll it's about still enjoy it. Go documentaries, ahead. you know, documentaries. I think are fundamentally tragic in some ways because you're trying to always reveal something that's a, kind of a deeper truth about whatever you're. Well, looking it, at. I mean, if there's not something uh, bad in it, uh -huh. it's going to be a pretty boring documentary. I'll bet. Yeah, you. that's right. And and I was afraid at the beginning of this thing, and about two thirds of the way through it. I mean, it seems like it's just based on this book that he published himself. It, it yeah. didn't ever show its cards until it fucking did <laughs> during the trial scene. <laughs> during the trial <laughs> scene. Now, I have a question: Do you think that dialogue was verbatim? Was that, was that transcripts? You think I it's would, not? Uh, it's not. It's not direct. Okay. No. So that was just that was it kind of made up sound, stuff. Period. Yeah, it, it, it's, it seemed it, very dramatized. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, yeah, it is. It is very dramatized. You, you notice they call this a mostly true yeah. story. Yes. Yeah. Um. It the. What I want to say is one specifically the whole point with tr kind of following the book, which isn't which isn't a hundred percent. Like if you notice all of those um, citations that come up on screen, right? You can see that she's actually using a lot of other sources for yeah. this. Yeah, um, there's a bunch of books and articles on him. I know Charlatan, Charlatan, which is written by the main talking head, yeah. in it, uh, mm -hmm. Peter Book, I think his name is, um, is, yeah, is a flim fantastic, flim. fantastic mm -hmm. read. So yeah. I started um, watching this thing, and about halfway through, I'm like, there's no fucking way. This is another one, like, like little Winnipeg, like the, the, my Winnipeg. This is all bullshit. It's just really well done bullshit. And I start Googling, going, no, nope, this appears to be true. And I'm like, Thank God I saw this because I had no idea. The, the story behind this documentary is so fascinating on so many levels. My issue with it is I wish instead my introduction to it had been like what Soderbergh or somebody could have done with this material, like making a drama. A linear, a linear, like a dramatic film out of it. Like I would have loved to have seen like Steven Soderbergh's version of this story because I found the animation with the goofy voice shit to be extremely off-putting yeah like really off-putting and it kind of kept taking me out of it because the story is so compelling that it kept getting dragged back in yes it's uh, in the same way that like thin this blue shit, line I which mean, invented this sort of no, uh, this, stuff, this stuff bugged the crap out of me yeah because and i get I'll tell you, did, I mean, like she did it is because out of necessity right you got it right like, can't. Yeah, I know I mean, it's low budget. You gotta tell the story. Some of this is probably one of the. They're least, like they're like it's eight, a low budget there solution. Are eight animators that took on various sections I'm of this. So that, it's good. I just yeah. and, and it's not that I dislike the artwork so much as that I dislike the artwork being used with those voices to pro to to tell me this story. When what I wish, like I said, what I wish I was seeing was I wanted Ken Burns. Yeah, or, well, yeah. I, I, thought, know, of like if, I thought of that, Jim. I, I wanted archival I think if this material. You know, John, I think I, if this had come out in 2008 when it was originally started, yeah, the it would be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Like the, the the interesting thing about this for me on a purely technical level is that there is an extremely popular YouTuber called the Internet Historian who basically ripped off this entire thing. He started the, his the technique. He, you mean? Yeah, he started yeah. his channel in in 2017, and he uses um, photos of famous YouTubers, other famous YouTubers and celebrities, and puts them on the heads of people and sort of puppets them around. Weird mm -hmm. for his for his videos, mm -hmm. and was recently exposed as a massive plagiarist. <laughs> what a surprise! Like, yeah. It's well, it's it, there's a lot of that happening. Okay, on the YouTube. thing about the style of this film, and I, John, I remember I once I dragged you to a place called the Museum of Jurassic Technology in uh, Los yeah, Angeles. You bet. Yeah. This felt like that. 
Yeah, it has a similar vibe. It had a kind of a heightened sense of unreality to it, that it was an interpretation of something that really was, but through an artistic um, lens, grinder or lens or whatever. (laughs) And I can see it being projected over there at the at the MJT. It's like uh, that would work because Mm -hmm. this is not this is history, but it's also history well interpreted by somebody who has a good artistic bent and a good ear for what is true and what isn't true. And um, and so you you learn so fucking much about that about everything oh. in this, like about inventing you know uh, inventing the commercial, inventing the infomercial, the, the, the infomercial, oh, inventing the um, broadcasting from Mexico thing was like. Well, the yeah. thing I was telling you guys, yeah, I knew no about shit. I knew about plus the fact because... that the same station just changed its call letters and went, went yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolf like went on the air. and then Wolfman, Wolfman, Jack. Wolfman Jack. Actually, I used to li- I used to grow up, grew up listening to him. I had a you wire across like my Wolfman bedroom. Jack. I could hear which Wolfman is Jack from Case at the, the, the station at night. Which is that line from American <laughs> Graffiti where they go visit Wolfman Jack at the radio where they station? Yeah. See him, yeah. And and it's like, oh no, he's down in Mexico broadcasting with a million watts of power. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Actually, That's what he was. That's where he was. Yeah. Oh, Wait a minute. Who's, who's that guy behind Chris? Who's the guy in the round glasses? That, that's that's the, Brinkley. The, the guy. That's, the that's guy. Doctor Brinkley. Yeah. That's Doctor Brinkley. Doctor yeah. Brinkley. Yeah. Doc. Okay. Doctor. No, that's a that's a model. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that now, guy so you... hot? Well, that's just, <laughs> he, you know, was they had photo, he was pretty handsome. They, they had literal they photoshopping that's not, in the thirties. That's 30s. not pretty handsome. That's a fucking model. In that picture, that's a model. Oh, you, you know play. who he looks like. Are you like? saying you, you could play like... him in the movie, Jared? Because you could. Yeah. yeah. Jared <laughs> no, that guy. That guy is much better looking than me. Oh my uh, god. You know who he looks like. He looks like the guy from Tombstone. You know the the little dude who they have with right. with him for until eventually he gives up because he's like, this is too much. I can't do it anymore. That's who he looks like. Yeah. Well, that picture is flattering for him. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, um, I like one thing, the fact that one thing about this, I lived everybody. I yeah. knew about about Brinkley because I watched the country documentary on, but Ken Burns one, right? And they talk right. about I the station. That. Okay, was it the, the station in in, in KF, Milford, KB or whatever KFKB in Milford? And they talk oh, about right, him right. introducing hillbilly music to a large area in Kansas, and also XERA was a huge influence in country because the Carter sisters went down to the Carter right, family yeah. would right. broadcast there almost like four nights a week. And you can hear it in Canada. And it's like yeah. Johnny Cash heard the, the Carter family on it the radio. Literally was, a million watts. Killing, yeah. You can hear it in 17 birds. countries. They said yeah. it was the thing is like that. The owner was disrespectful. He was and, killing uh, birds. Yeah. The, yeah. Owner was a, the owner was a, was a grifter, which is unfortunate because he really should have just like, well, gone this straight. is so one good thing that he did. The one good yeah. thing. He's seen several good things. This is the one good thing he did is made country music work. Yeah. And it's like, it was, it, it, it kind of invented modern radio, which is like, Accidentally, yeah. just to sell more and advertising. Plans. Yeah, so yeah, it's like it's and man. getting sued by the FCC. <laughs> yes. the F- yeah, yeah, exactly. And Harvard. and the American Medical Association. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The a- AMA was not his friend. I don't oh, know the dude, says, the dude, the dude who is mine. the, the dude who mine. shows up, fish the dude mine. who shows up to to be the the um the expert witness from the yeah. AMA, mm. and he just goes yeah. in on him. Oh yeah. yeah, for for like ten minutes. Yeah. That is well, such a great scene. I know, it's like just, there's three definitions of yeah. a quack, and he goes through he the can, three he, definitions. That felt pretty real. I was like, he couldn't shut up. He had to say all three of them. And like, this is but, where but, oh. this is that turn. As an I was as an autistic about. as an this autistic turn, person, John. yes. Because <laughs> then as really an autistic person, I totally understand. Yeah, he had to kind of get that out, or else it's going to drive nuts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But that was good stuff, and uh, you know, like I said, it. Uh, um, the denouement it's at the so end was weird. just fishbein means fish leg in German or Yiddish. Fish leg, yeah, leg. And I was like, "What is a fish leg?" <laughs> he didn't get any money. He didn't get any money for that either. He just won his case. All of the, all of well, the. Did, what's his name sued him for life? Right, 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 right. He just won the case. He didn't get any money out of right. that. Uh, it's there's no what counter happened. Suit. Yeah. What happened afterwards is that like, all of these patients and family suits. patients and right. the shit Took out them of down. him. Yep. Yeah. Something yeah. on the on the order of three point two million dollars in that era's money. In the forties? Yeah. That's like a factor of twenty. Because he died in forty yeah. two. Yeah. 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 So, like, just think about how much money that guy made off of this. Yes, he was making. It it all, you know, the whole thing just reminded me of a certain um, GOP 
guy right now. Yeah. Well, uh, this came out in 2016. <laughs> I know. I watched it in 2016. I, just, I can't you know, imagine it resonated you know, with it, me. You know, making just, my point, Scott, which is why I think that this this story is ripe for exploitation by like a big name director who's good at this kind of thing, like a Soderbergh is. It's a little perspective that there's always been grifters and there's always been fucking morons ready to give them their money. Yeah. Right? This, well, it's this, like this, serial killers. Yeah, this is what this movie talks about, basically. <laughs> Although it goes back and forth. Man and serial killers. It goes back and forth to saying, you know, this is a placebo effect. These guys think they're potent because they uh, they because they think they're potent. Going and then also what they talked they about, they're you know, too. Uh, is people seek out um, folk <laughs> medicine at their, as a last resort, and there's right. some legitimacy to that as well. You know, which it isn't going to help them. Which they well, the placebo in the, effect in the is an established fact, right? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. This, this, well, that, was, that was fascinating. It kind of, it kind of the placebo the effect is a very different. It's anyway. I, yeah, I do I think mean, you know. I think that what probably was a lot of it because a lot of uh, male impotence is psychological. Yeah. I think. So, I think what's really water is all you need, really. Yeah. I think what's really it's interesting blue, is, water. is is they they th that guy from or the AMA mango, talks. If you watch Seinfeld. Yeah, talks about how. Um, it would have been just as effective to cut open the scrotum and then stitch it back up. Yeah, right. right. That's that's literally been proven now with uh, knee surgeries. Uh -huh. There's a bunch of knee uh -huh. surgeries where it turns out that placebo knee surgery is just as effective as actual knee surgery. Uh -huh. Makes sense. And it's not. And it's not because of the surgery. It's because of the post-surgical um uh physical therapy PT? and stuff like that that people yeah. get like that's actually the thing that's healing you it's not the surgery itself so right. they give you a little right. nick on the knee and says oh yeah we did all this amazing stuff in there now they go put yourself in that machine that makes your leg go like this yeah for right three hours and you'll be fine yeah. <laughs> yeah i can see that i can see that I do like this, this what, is, the guy behind you, Scott, coming up at the end of the flick. Yeah, I don't know it was yeah he's kind of the, like, the, the he's yeah, kind of I the, do, but I liked you. But I liked him. <laughs> <laughs> I love the part where where they're like, it's uh, what is it, a one in ten thousand mixture of distilled water and blue dye, uh, yeah. Yeah. and the guy in the back is like, I spent six hundred and fifty goddamn dollars on <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Well, it's homeopathic magic. Right. I mean, uh, yeah. and, 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 and again, again, sorry, I'm spoiling. It has the it. memory of curing you? Sorry, I'm yeah. spoiling this. But the yeah. end, uh, when that guy, when when a certain person kills himself, you see that yeah. spot of blood on that painting of the family. Yeah. So all the credits are running, it's slowly dripping yes. down. It's yeah. like really well and done. I rolled it back because you know they always cut away from the credits when right, you're watching right. it on Amazon. They had to and go I back rolled up, it back, yeah. and it gave me time to see that there were all these little um, ceramic figurines of goats on the mantle yes. below the painting. Yeah. But also so... the animation, <laughs> the animation after that, the uh, the over under credit sequence, that was yeah. like a fucking orgy. It was crazy. Yeah, it was all kinds Most of crazy shit was going there. on. By the way, put a pin in that, Who John. That? How they pop up something else when the credits come up because it's a i'm gonna right. write a whole essay about how that's uh, so I fucking, how fucking that. annoying this it's, it's so dis disrespectful. It's disrespectful of film exactly but you know people are bored people leave in credits all the time. go see a movie in the theater oh yeah they're up and out of there as soon as the you know the the end shows up well they I weren't, they like, weren't they taught right like behind at uh, oppenheimer for the entire and the credits went on for like 20 oh, minutes. that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot jim i walked out yeah <laughs> i almost I feel like Despite I what John like Bigby taught me, yeah, the I, I almost get your ass like to that the, the <laughs> mid credit sequence was kind of invented to make people, st yeah, stick around a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah. Marvel did a good job on that. I hate to say it, but that worked. You know. It's like people say the very fucking. They did, but of... then they abused it because I remember there's a great tweet that was something like every Marvel Marvel post credit scene is like some guy walking through a door and going, "Hey, it's me, Blorzo." No, the, no, <laughs> no! You're you're wrong. That's DC. Uh, oh. Marvel did it perfectly because it always oh, it always dear. worked together. Like that's <laughs> when Captain, when Captain Marvel shows up at the end of like one movie, she's there. But oh, DC was the worst. It was like but, but, you know, just think about the, Amanda the, Waller shows up and goes, "What about the Blizz Blaz and the Him Ham?" And like uh, the Batman's going, "Blah blah 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 blah." And like and no, nobody no, fucking cares. cares. Right. One of my favorites is still the. <laughs> haven't watched any of those movies, and I'm proud of myself for. Right. <laughs> I'm here, Ted, and especially I'm here. not to the end. Yes, exactly. The first of Avengers movie where it's just them all eating shawarma. Eating, eating shawarma That's the eating best waffles. one. That was good. That's still the best one. No plot. Uh, no, the one, the, the one in Deadpool 
where he's dressed up as um, Ferris Bueller and he's <laughs> like, the movie's over. Go home. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> like a, a giant ant playing drums at the end of uh, Ant Man was pretty good. Uh, the I don't remember too. that. Oh, you didn't stick around that long enough for that one. That Maybe good. not. All right. All right. Well, um, yeah. okay, we're such a way I off topic. We are way off topic. Yeah, I, I, oh, I had to Google this movie because I didn't believe what I was seeing. It was no. too fucking crazy. Mm. That's a good thing. No, and it's mostly you, true. If you've read anything about like flim flam con artists and stuff and quacks, uh, it was huge business back in the day. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, even in oh, the oh, remember West, he made he made he uh, start uh, in snake oil. Uh -huh. He made eleven thousand hundred dollars. Yes, <laughs> eleven thousand. Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred thousand dollars. Did Jim have a proper corner at this point? Yeah, I did. Okay, good enough. I yeah, guess this movie kind of this movie kind of um, taps into that uh, Griel Marcus's uh, old weird America. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's like, yeah, man. Shit. I, yeah, for know, some reason, I just thought of they shoot horses, don't they? For yeah, I don't know why. I, oh, yeah. I just thought of uh, Ewell Hauser would have been a great uh, narrator for this. Or I, David I just thought about the Museum of Trans Technology. I thought this is a perfect exhibit for that. This is uh, yeah. this yeah. is weird. This is just weird. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, um, this is weird America, basically. Old weird America. Yeah, exactly. All right. This is it. Thumbs. I liked it a lot. Me too. Yeah. Great, great, Doc. It's probably Jared, the top you five need to watch year. this. Uh -huh. I love the story really good. Coming.